Hey everyone, the artificial trainer here. Welcome in, welcome back to my channel. Today, slightly different. We're gonna be talking something extremely important to Comfy UI generation. It's the reason that Comfy UI is better than most of the paid services out there. You know it, you love it, it's masking. So masking is just creating an area for the model in ComfyUI to focus on. So whether that be something like Vase where it doesn't really necessarily denoise, it just focuses in that area or something like in painting where you can throw noise in and gener and denoise in only that specific masked area. Masking is super important. So we're gonna go through a few ways to generate masks. We'll start the simplest. We'll go to resolve to do some more fancy masking. And then we'll also do some auto masking in Comfy UI. Hopefully this is really helpful to you. This is probably the most important skill that I've learned throughout my Comfy UI journey. Okay, so the first way we're gonna create a mask is gonna be extremely simple. We're just gonna go to, you can use Photoshop, I'm gonna use Photo-P, even just use paint on your computer. And we're gonna create a 1280 by 720 image. And then all we need is a black background and then our mask is going to be white. So whatever's white is mask, whatever is black is the background. And I have a I have a video of a car, which is gonna be my subject for this video. And I want to essentially create a mask where that car is. So this is the first frame of the video. And I'm going to create a white box over the car but remember, I don't want just over the car. I need it to be over the entire. I need it to be over, over the entire car for the entire video, right? So this is not the best way to do this, right? Because I don't have a video tracking where the car is, but this is the most simple option to start. So I'm just going to create, you know, a, a big mask and just know that yeah, I'm probably covering more than I need to, but I'm definitely gonna cover the car. And then I'm gonna create another box, and then this one's gonna be black, so this is gonna be our black background. And then I'm gonna put my white box on top, and here's a very simple mask. All right, so we're just gonna export that. I'm just gonna call it uh, image car mask. And then let's put this into Comfy UI, so I'm gonna load a video. Sorry, load image, and I'm going to drag that mask in that I created, and then I'm going to drag this out, and I want a repeat image batch. So this is gonna repeat the mask however many times I want, and I want to repeat it for the amount of frames. So I have a 121 frame video, it's gonna repeat 121 times, and then that'll be my mask. Okay, and then we need to convert this to a mask. So convert image to mask. The channel's red because black doesn't have any red in it. So you can just use, the, the white's the only thing with red in it. So it'll grab the mask correctly from that. We'll preview mask at this point. Just drag, drag that down there. And then I wanna do a composite image with mask image composite masked. And I'm going to grab the, I'm gonna put white, or let's use CR color panel. So I'm just gonna use a white panel. And so the mask is going to take, actually we'll do red just to make it different. Just wanna resize this to make sure it's also 1280 by 720. Grab this and this. Just resizing, just added resize nodes in to make sure everything is agreed on in size. That's important with masks because if the sizes aren't the same, then you're gonna end up with masks that don't match up. 
And then let's do a combined video. And then this should give us a red box over where the mask was in the video. So I, I originally had the color panel backwards. The color panel should be on source and the original video should be on destination. But you can see we basically just put a red box over where we masked out the, the original video. Okay, so this is like a quick kind of like hacky way to do it, right? We're not tracking the car at all. We're just kind of saying the car is in this general area, so let's put a mask over it. All right, so our next option is to use something like DaVinci Resolve. So I have DaVinci Resolve up. I have Studio. The first functionality we're gonna do uses the, you can do with the free version. The second, second functionality, it, you need the paid version of Resolve to use it. All right, so for the free version, we're gonna go to Fusion after you up upload your clip, and then we are going to add a, so we're gonna add a rectangle, and then we're gonna add a background and connect the rectangle to the background. And then we're gonna add a merge. Make sure you connect the background to the of the rectangle to the foreground because we want the mask to be in the front connect your media in to the background and then pass the merge to media out. So now you can see we have a black box and all we need to do now is make sure that we our keyframes are tracking the car correctly. Okay, so let's watch the video for, all right, so right about there, it starts to, the car starts to become out of frame. So let's set, keyframe there on the rectangle. All right, and then let's move forward to wherever the car is. All right, so now the car is too wide, so we need to expand the car. So on the right here, or expand the mask. So on the right here in the inspector, I'm just expanding the mask out, adding a keyframe there. All right, and now you can see the mask expands to cover the car. And then as we continue on, we just see a little bit of the car peak out there. So let's create another keyframe and just widen the mask a little bit. All right, and then let's just make sure we're covering the rest of the car with that keyframe. All right, so we need to widen it a little bit as well. And then we can continue the end. So the key is basically we don't want to see the car at all. We just want to mask it out the entire time. Even you can see a little bit of the shadow creep in right here. We don't want to be able to see that. So let's add, let's widen our mask a little bit. All right, so that looks pretty good. I don't see any... I don't see any indication that there would be a car in there. All right, and then to be able to make this an alpha mask, so we want the rectangle to be white and we want the background to be black. All right, so we have our white box now and then we just need the background to be black. So we're gonna add one more background node. We're gonna connect that instead of media in. And now we have our black background and our white box. All right, and then you can export that. However, you can come over here and modify everything, or I have a just a quick macro setup where it exports as 1280 by 720 with a H.264 codec at 24 FPS. So I'm gonna export this. Just export it to my downloads as rectangle car mask. And then let's upload this to, so instead of a load image now, I'm gonna have a load video. Oh. Load video upload. And I'm going to bring in my rectangle car mask. Connect that up. And then now when we run it, we should see the red 
go into where the car is instead. Sorry, I forgot to take out the repeat image batch. We don't want this 121 frame video to re repeat 81 times or 121 times. I'm pro probably just maxed out my RAM there. So let's do a quick restart. Okay, now I should be able to run it now that I got rid of that repeat batch node. All right, now you can see this red box does a much better job of tracking the car while keeping as much of the background as possible. Okay, and now let's go to an even more advanced way to do this in Resolve. We'll use the AI Magic Mask. Okay, so in order to use the AI Magic Mask, you go into the Color tab on the bottom in DaVinci Resolve Studio. This is only available in the paid version, so if you don't have that, unfortunately you can't use this, but after this part of the video, I will show you how to do something very similar in Comfy UI. So make sure you turn on AI Magic Mask down here, and then also turn on the toggle mask overlay, make sure that's highlighted. And then we're gonna use an add click. So we just wanna click somewhere on the car, and you should see it turn red like this. After that, you want to hit this track forward button, and you should see the red stay over the car pretty much the whole time. It's actually a very good mass generation. We just lose it a little bit right at the end here. So really cool thing about this is you can just go to that spot where you start to lose the mask and just click again and track it forward from there and you should get the mask to be cleaned up. All right, so let's watch that through, make sure we like it. Yeah pretty consistent mask. And the other thing you can do, you can grow the radius a little bit similar to we do in Comfy to make sure we do have the whole thing masked. I actually want to add, it feels like we're losing the mask a little bit right around here. So let's track that forward. Okay, cool. All right, and now to get the alpha mask out, we want to add a serial node. So we add a node, add serial, connect these two together. We want the alpha connected, and then we're going to add an alpha out. We want to connect that as well. Let's turn off the mask overlay. All right, so you can see the alpha in the back, the car is generated, but we want just a white box where the car is. So on the right here in the effects panel, we're just gonna drag a color generator into our serial node. And then now you can see we have our white mask. So this is very similar to SAM2 in Comfy UI, but we have more control. SAM2, you can basically just mask the start frame and that's all you get. With this, you can, you know, like SAM2 will sometimes break apart in the middle, you'll lose a couple of frames. With this, you can go to that spot where you're losing the couple of frames and fix the mask. After Effects has a very similar functionality to this, which is also great. So feel free to use After Effects as well if you are good in After Effects. All right. So now I'm just gonna export this video again, just like we did last time, 1280p resolution, or 1280 by 720 resolution, 24 FPS, so on and so forth. Let's export it. I'm gonna say a tight car mask. And then this time I'm going to drag our new mask in here. And now we should see red just around where we brought the new mask in. All right, so there you go, pretty solid. We probably could grow the mask a little bit, so let's try that out. You can see a little bit of the blue leaking in behind. So let's just grow the mask by 10, put that in. All right, and now you don't see any more blue in there. It's all red. So really, really awesome way to, to generate masks. I've pretty much been using this exclusively since I found it um, in cases where I like really want to track something closely, like for example, a car or a person. This works really well. All right, so our last option is some Comfy UI native masking. So instead of using an uploaded mask, so let's delete these out. We are now going to use a AI generated mask. So we want to use SAM2 segmentation, and then we're gonna use our points editor, which is part of the KJ nodes custom nodes package. 
and we are going to drag the positive coordinates and the negative coordinates in here and you can also drag the b-boxes in as well although we probably won't use b-box in this case all right so quickly i'm going to disconnect i'm going to disconnect those i just want to grab the first frame of this video select images and preview image so this grabs the first index and previews it so just grab that frame save it we'll reconnect these to the load video and then let's drag our first frame into our points editor all right and then the way that this is going to work is the green means mask this the red means don't mask this if you shift left left click you get a new green box if you shift right click you get a new red box or new red dot all right so i usually use like three of each hopefully that's enough to cover it you'll probably this probably will showcase why i prefer the resolve mask versus this mask in technique once we do that we just need to connect the sam2 segmentation up to the grow mask node and we'll also connect it to the preview node. We can get rid of the convert image to mask. And from there, we should be able to run this. Oh, sorry, I had to change segmenter to video in the load SAM2 model. Oh, okay, so I, you can't use B boxes with individual objects. So let's unselect that. Yep, so we removed the B boxes and now it's running through. And here you can see our mask it actually looks pretty solid we'll see what the final generation looks like uh, yeah so this is kind of what i expected we're starting to lose the mask right at the bottom here it's the same exact thing that happens in davinci resolve i actually suspect davinci resolve probably uses something very similar to sam 2 to do their masking since they are very similar but you can see and there's no way for us to fix that in comfy ui so that's why i prefer davinci if you're serious about doing you know using models like vase or models like that the 200 dollars for davinci studio is 100 percent worth it so that you don't end up with masks that are dropping frames or you know losing some of your object like what's happening here all right so that is it for this mask tutorial i know this one was a bit chaotic don't, didn't provide just like a workflow for all of you, like I, I typically do, this is more educational, something that I think is extremely valuable to learn. I hope you like this video. I hope it improves your generations going forward. Remember to like and subscribe if you want more video AI content, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Thanks for watching.